Hello today and today we're going to have a game of Crisis at Christmas on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum and guess what it's a text adventure game once again so that only means one thing this is a game request by Andrew Heather on YouTube fan fucking tastic in it another text adventure game oh this is a Christmas text adventure game <sighs> right it is Christmas Eve you have just arrived home and are outside and are outside your own front door when you hear the telephone when you hear the ring of the telephone from inside push any key to continue you open the door what you open the door didn't you will you fucking tell me as you lift right hang on excuse me <coughs> As you lift the phone, a young baby a young babysitter tells you that both your children are at long last fast asleep in their bedrooms. The phone call is from your better half. Really? Crisis at Christmas. It's Christmas Eve and you have just What? Oh you've just taken you've just taken the telephone call from your spouse informing you that the car has broken down oh no the bro the car has broken down well that's your fucking for that's what is it a fucking larder or a skoda um that's your fucking tough shit for buying a piece of shit car then most of the presents for your two children are under the tree but there are two special ones which father christmas must live leave in each other of their bedrooms the children have gone to bed was that expecting to find these presents in their rooms in the morning you do not know where these presents have been hidden i get it so this game's all about finding them fucking presents i guess oh great right you may play you may play the hero of this adventure as either the husband or wife of the family. Right, okay, we'll play as the husband then. Just a oh, <laughs> You are in the Trivity Furnished Lounge. Uh, attractively furnished lounge, rather. Sitting room living room whatever you want to call it the drawing room all the always quiet and peaceful as the children are long fast sound asleep the dining room is to the east an alcove north and an entrance hall is south you here you notice a glass of sherry handwritten notes right get sherry Drink. Sherry. Okay. What now? Get. Note. Read. Note. Dear Father Christmas, this sherry is for you. Oh fuck! <laughs> I drunk the bastard sherry. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you for John and Claire. <laughs> oh God, I've even got the name wrong. Fucking. Oh God. Unfortunately, I've never had a, a wife called Claire, though. That's another thing. But they got my name right. Um, right. So, so let's look. All right. So we can go. So we go. Let's have a look in the archive. A feature of the lounge is this rough, unusual alcove. You, here you notice a hand torch. Get torch. Right, okay. So, let's go south, I guess. So, we can go um, east. Let's have a... What's, 
Let's have what north and the entrance of the hall is set. Right, let's go east. Chaos is in is the order of the day in this dining room. At a meal times the lounge. That while the French window leads to the patio. Alright, so is there any direction? Oh lounge is west. Right, so let's go south I guess. Entrance hall off which the study to the east the lounge nothing of interest. What's the cubby hole? Cubby hole under the stairs, favourite hiding place for your children and you have to crouch down wrapping paper. Get that I guess. Right, um so where can we go now? North So Let's go east The study with a very large most exit R east you notice examine Okay, the desk, you see a diary. Or should I just put read diary? You read on page for 24 December, Boy D. Girl, you. What? Um, so we can go east and west. So the garage, bear and the other half here as you. On the wall is an old cupboard. Use. Right. So study. Right, examine. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Salmon cupboard. It's just what it appears to be. Okay, inside you see a ball of string. You can't carry any more, oh, for fuck's sake. So go north, let's go in the... I almost broke your back. What? You almost broke your back by laying this patio, but you were rather pleased with the final outcome. A shed is to the east, a garage to the south, and the window leading into the house is west. You notice a pair of Check your inventory. You have with you an empty tumbler, handwritten note, wrapping paper, a black diary. Right, well, don't need to. Okay. Um, I just broke your back. Right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go into the shed. Let's go east. Your own private escape hole. No one else is allowed in this shed. 
a long one what's that a long one wall is a well worn workbench examine so bench okay the bench you see a chisel So, where can we go now? West. Almost broke your back, so. The window is closed. Right. Um, right, okay. Right, so been north. I have to go study. Study very large. The lounge and north. Uh, to the north, a cubby hole. We've been there. Right, I've been there. You are in the attractive furnished lounge. In the dining room, aren't we? Oh God, here we go. We're starting to get frustrated now. Can't go that way. Where have we been? South. Have we been south? The entrance hall. Um, so we've been upstairs, have we? Which is east to the lounge. Been near north. No. Study. We've been to the study. We've been to the lounge. And we've been to the cubby hole. So where else can we go? Fucking lounge again. Been to the alcove. North is the entrance hall. Hang on. Dining room is to the east. We've been to the dining room, haven't we? Now it's to the west. Wharf. window is open right well I've been outside so what do I do now oh god so can I leave the house so I've been everywhere Rather unfamiliar with this. You are unfamiliar, rather unfamiliar with this room, but you recognise it from being at being being a kitchen with ample storage space and drawers. Stairs lead down into darkness, where there is a white towel hanging on one of the worktops. Can't do that yet. Get towel. You notice that one drawer is partly open. You can you are you can't carry any more. Okay, inside you see a pair of scissors. So this is basically, you've got your string, you've got your wrapping paper, and now you need your scissors to wrap up some fucking presents. Ah, oh, I can see where this game is going. Yeah. So. 
have don't know what I'm going to need the chisel for an empty tumbler So, I'm getting quite bored now. Right, let's. Um, I suppose we can go down. It is dark here. What now? It's lacking a bath. For fuck's sake! You. Can do nothing in here without a source of light. Right. I'm getting fed up with it now. Um, I suppose it's okay. It's just a text adventure game. It's a Christmas game, and you can play either as a husband or wife. That's something different. Um, so it, appeal, it can appeal to, um, well, even a text adventure game. You, um, doesn't say if you're a man or a woman or well some do but I don't know I suppose it's good to have that touch but yeah it's all right I guess um, that's all I can really say on it <laughs> it's a text adventure game that's it anyway I'm gonna end this now thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye